Now, cultural lovers, this week saw 0-0 draws dominate all the big games in Italy. Christmas come early for Roma and Gattuso finally gets a W. While in Europe, the citizens rule Manchester and Salah leads all scorers in EPL. My name is Graziano. You are watching the Italian Soccer Attic Broadcast and you are where you need to be to get all your soccer information. Andiamo! The Derby dell'Italia, played between Juventus and Inter Milan, is so called because they are Italy's most successful domestic sides. The 196th version saw Inter travel to the Elian Stadium where Juve have a dominating 61 to 18 record. Wow. But like cold pizza, the anticipation was much better as a 0-0 scoreline left watchers with a bad taste in their mouth. League leader Inter could only manage one shot on net. I'd show you some highlights, but there aren't any. After the 0-0 Juve Inter result, Napoli looked to get back to top spot with the win at home against Fiorentina. Even though Napoli had 67% possession, neither team could, could mount an attack and find the back of the net for yet another 0-0 finish. Highlights? Ibit. <laughs> None here either. Okay, how about Roma? Could Roma take advantage and move closer to the top? Away to Chievo, they had 67% position possession and fired a record 28 shots compared to Cable's one but found a Sorrentino wall who made four miraculous saves for yet another 0-0 zero, zero tie. Last time I saw so many zeros I was looking at my report card in grade 9. In the late game struggling Milan after the Benevento miracle faced off against Bologna at the Miazza and got two Jack Bonaventura goals, one in the 10th and one in the 76th, to finally get a W for Gattuso 2-1. Other scores saw Cagliari get goals from Fareas and Pavoletti, and Sampdoria get two goals from Quagliarella for a 2-2 tie. Spal got two goals in two minutes in the 88th, to also tie Verona 2-2. Udine got goals from Borac and Lasagna to blank Benevento 2-0. And Sassuolo got all three goals from Goldania and one for Politano and a home goal to be Crotone 2-1. It was 50 years ago that the Big Four failed to score. Christmas came early for Roma as on Tuesday, they finally got the long-awaited green light from the city to build their new stadium. They then followed that up with the win over Quarabag, while at the same time Atletico was tying Chelsea to give Roma top seed in their group, something that's never happened before. The early Christmas continued when they were drawn against Shakhtar Donetsk in the knockout stage. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas, Mr. Palotta. Juventus took care of Olympiacos 2-0, but still finished second to Barcelona. Juve were also rewarded as they drew a very beatable Tottenham Hotspur side in the next round. And as predicted, Man City, a.k.a. the Scrooge, rested all but four starters and lost to Shakhtar Donetsk 2-0, which unfortunately eliminated Napoli. What an exciting set of upcoming matches, as also drawn together were PSG against Real and Barcelona against Chelsea. In Europa League, the three Italians finished top of their group and were joined by Napoli. In this competition, Atalanta plays Brocia Dormant, Lazio plays Stasa Bucuresti, Milan plays 
Milan takes on Ludos Gretz and Napoli gets RB Leipzig. In this year's competition, we have seven Spanish teams, six Italians, and five Brits making the knockout stage for the first time ever. Play resumes in February, and I can't wait. Across the Alps, the EPL was consumed with two monster derbies. First off, the 175th plane of the Manchester Derby. Going into this game, Man U had not lost at home in the last 24 games, and City were on an EPL record 13 wins in a row. Something had to give, and, and it did, as goals by Silva and Otamendi gave City a 2-1 lead and set a new EPL record with 14 victories in a row. This obviously didn't sit well with the special one, as reports now indicate that he went into City's dressing room and apparently told them they were celebrating too loudly. Nice. In the Merseyside Derby, the 228th plane saw Mohamed Salah get his 13th goal of the year to lead all EPL scorers in the 13th, only to have Wayne Rooney get his first ever derby goal in the 77th and end in a one-to-one -one tie. Also tying one-to-one were Arsenal at Southampton, Tottenham put five by Stoke with Kane getting two, and getting shocked that West Ham was Chelsea, one to nothing. City are now 11 up on second place United and 14 on last year's champs, Chelsea. In Spain, both Barcelona and Real won, keeping Barca eight points up on Real. In Germany, it's Bayern by eight, and in France, it's PSG by nine. That's it for Hannibal, now back to the boot. Did you know that Cristiano Ronaldo won his fifth Ballon d'Or trophy tying Lionel Messi? The only Italian, the last Italian player to do so was Paolo Cannavaro in 2006. Did you know that the art of Napoli pizza, you know, the twirling and the stretching, has received UNESCO status protection? And finally, did you know that after five years, three different government changes, five local authorities, and a thousand reviews, the city of Roma have finally approved the new Roma Stadium to be built at Torre delle Valle and is scheduled to open in 2020. What solves me? Simple. In the future, you can order real Napoletane pizza while watching world-class players playing in a brand new stadium. That's it. Thank you for watching. Ciao a presto. Buonasera signorina.